After Gelato is the first Delfino Shine section of the run. First, hover slide to the beach and spin jump over to the beach pipe and enter it. To do this part quickly, simply hover slide at the start and aim for this hole. Keep holding forward, tap hover soon after you start going into free fall, and you should land on the shine. If you didn't make it, you tapped hover too early, and if you overshot, you tapped it too late. Ground pounding right when you reach the final platform is probably a good idea to prevent overshooting and dying, since you can't hover when Mario starts to flail. Now, it's time to do pineapple and durian fruit ladies, and then box game one. Water slide over to the pineapples and grab one. Side flip onto the awning and spin to make it to the roof here. Do a short jump and throw the pineapple, aiming slightly to the left of the building on the right. Repeat with another pineapple. If you aim wrong and a pineapple goes into the water, you may have to throw it again. For the last pineapple, pick it up and head to the durians. Kick them over to this corner and jump and kick them off of this wall. Once they're all up, throw the pineapple in the direction of the fruit lady. Then arrange the durians so they're together and a little bit away from the small wall in front. Then dive into them, aiming for the side of the shine gate. If your dive is too close, you might hit one of them with too much speed and it could go careening off into the water. If you don't have enough speed, they might not make it to the other area at all. Next, talk to the pineapple lady and throw the pineapples in. An easy way to do this is to do a side flip motion on the ground and throw it from here. Once all of them are in, talk to her and grab the coin. Jump dive over this box and spray the M. Then spin jump over to the durian area. Talk to the durian lady and kick them all into the goal. If any are missing, make sure to check the lower area over here and behind the box. If there's still some missing, just go back and get a durian and repeat the process. After getting the blue coin, enter box game and do box game 1. Try to ground pound the last two pairs on the diagonal to get them quickly, though it can be tough. With this route, if you go too slow, there's a risk of the durians despawning, so if you want to be a bit safer, you can get all of the pineapples first, and then all of the durians. Next up is the lighthouse shine. Before this, grab the rocket nozzle and water slide at this angle at this wall to clip out of bounds, and Y turn to the left to get close to this blue coin. Again, make sure not to walk for too long in here or you'll die. Do a double jump to grab this blue coin without entering the sewers. Do three dive rollouts to reach this next blue coin. If you're doing Jellyscape 2.0, double jump into this blue coin and then watch the in-depth tutorial to see what to do next. If you aren't doing Jellyscape 2.0, just double jump into the coin, do a few dive rollouts and then rocket up to dry land. Then rocket up to the lighthouse and stand on the top. Position yourself on the edge and jump and rocket up. Once high enough, ground pound, start charging the rocket, and when you hit the lighthouse, jump up again and rocket quickly. Right before the shine spawns, ground pound, and if your timing was good, you should ground pound into the shine. If your rocket gets cancelled after ground pounding, then you weren't close enough to the edge. Now if you do the jelly skipper out, you'll get the lily pad shine right now, so check out my tutorial for that. After that, it's time for the quicker and easier delfino shines, starting with right bell. For right bell, grab the rocket, Water slide over to the right building, and do a spin jump rocket to make it up to the bell. Face Mario at a slight angle to the building, and spam spray as quickly as possible. If you have a good angle, the bell should be cleaned pretty quickly. Now, to get into the shine easily, charge your rocket, and land on the small area below the bell. Switch to spray nozzle and sidestep off the edge. Once you clear the roof, hold right, and guide Mario into the shine, diving if you wish. Of course, you can just rocket up twice, if you don't want to do a rocket storage here. Now is a good time to get beach shine if you didn't get it during gelato unlock earlier. Just water slide over, do a fancy rollout spam spray if you want by pressing R all the way down right when you roll out, and spin jump dive over to the shine. Now on to shine gate. Grab the rocket nozzle, dive roll out to the right, 
and spam spray and dive onto this ledge. Slide off at this angle and spin jump rocket up to the shine gate. Start spam spraying and adjust your camera so you land on the ledge. Keep spraying until it's cleaned, then after the cutscene, do a rocket storage similar to what you just did for right bell, off of the edge, and dive into the shine. Now onto the shines where you need the turbo nozzle. First, open the turbo box, turn to the left, and hover slide through the nozzle to the left bell area. Turbo through the door and dive ground pound under the shine. Now, grab the turbo nozzle, hover sliding to the right this time, and start to turbo when you fall off the edge. When you reach the island, jump with turbo and spam spray as quick as you can to kill the gold bird before he flies away. After the cutscene, turbo over to the left, grab the blue coin behind this door. For this, make sure you don't release the turbo until you grab the blue coin, or else you may bonk on the door, which loses a lot of time. Next, turbo jump up to the platform, and spin jump dive to the shine, ground pounding under it if you need to. Do similar movement with the turbo nozzle, and make your way over to this burning pianta. Spray him, grab the blue coin, then turbo through the jailhouse here, taking care to not bonk on the piantas and complete this section as normal. To make sure you don't fall off at the end, you can jump and ground pound as soon as you hit the last platform. Last up is the Chuckster Shine. You can grab a coin and get chucked by the Pianta on the top of a building here, but there's a glitch you can do to skip that and save a few seconds as well. Grab a banana from the tree on the left by doing a rollout spray, and make your way up to this building using this movement. Once up here, walk a tiny bit away from the building, and use the same technique to clip in Serena 3 to clip here, except you throw the banana much earlier, and I hold my control stick up here instead of down. This timing and positioning is a bit tricky to get down, but the trick itself is fairly forgiving. 